What's up, everybody? It's Taco. It's Wednesday. Oregon is gearing up for its season opening tilt against Nickel State. We know a lot of the returners for Oregon that are going to come in and uh, excel just like they did last year. Marcus Mariota, Ifo Ekpre Olomu, DeAnthony Thomas, Boseco Locumbo. Uh, all those guys, we know what they got. Uh, so let's take a look at a few of the newcomers that are going to be making their first appearance in an Oregon uniform on Saturday. We'll start in the backfield, maybe the most anticipated recruit from the 2013 recruiting class. Uh, that's running back Thomas Tyner. Uh, I think he might have the most hype of any Oregon running back as a freshman since Jonathan Stewart. He's got that combination of size and speed that any football team on the planet covets, uh, and I think Duck fans are excited to see him. Um, Coach Mark Helfrich has said that Tyner will not redshirt. He will play as a true freshman, and if that lower leg injury that held him out of a few fall practices isn't bothering him, we will see him in the second half against Nickel State and see what he is capable of. Uh, the freshman, I think, might get the first offensive action uh, of the 2013 season is tight end Johnny Munt. Uh, Munt came in a little bit under the radar, not very talked about coming into fall camp, uh, but he came in, he impressed the coaching staff and combined that with the injury to Pharaoh Brown, uh, a spot opened up for that number two tight end slot and Munt stepped up and took it. So when Colt Lyerla needs a break, uh, Johnny Munt's gonna get into the game and he's gonna get some early action with the first team offense. Uh, one guy that's not a true freshman, but will be making his Oregon debut is redshirt freshman wide receiver Chance Allen. Uh, you might remember Allen as part of the 2012 recruiting class. He and Braylon Addison were both signing day flips. Uh, Allen was an Oklahoma State recruit, flipped to Oregon. Uh, he redshirted last year while Addison played as a true freshman, so uh, Braylon Addison's gotten a little bit more of the press time. Uh, but Allen, a six foot two wide receiver, uh, has a lot of talent, uh, was a two sports star in high school, and can come in and contribute right away in a major way, so I'm excited to see what he can do. On the defensive side of the ball, uh, outside linebacker to Rodney Prevo, uh, hyper athletic. I, you know, I can't remember. Uh, in my time being an Oregon fan, of uh, really a more athletically gifted outside linebacker uh, coming into the program as a freshman. Uh, Oregon linebackers typically have gotten by with you know as much guts and determination as talent. Um, and Prevo is one of those guys that could be a high NFL draft pick if he progresses like uh, we think that he could, and he's going to get a chance to show off his skills as a true freshman, uh, probably at the Sam linebacker spot behind Lacombo and Tyson Coleman. Uh, and the last newcomer is going to be place kicker Matt Wogan. Uh, it's still undecided whether he or Alejandro Maldonado will be doing the kicking duties against Nickel State, uh, but Wogan has been named the uh, kickoff specialist, so if uh, Oregon wins the toss and elects to defer, uh, you will see Wogan kick the ball off to start the 2013 season. Uh, and he might get a shot at place kicks too. He's got the bigger leg, but it sounds like uh, Maldonado's been slightly more accurate in fall practice. So that'll be an ongoing battle throughout the season. And I know that a capable and reliable kicker is something that Oregon fans have been craving. That's a look around the newcomers. Check back with us here at the ATQ Tubes on Friday for a final wrap-up of Oregon Nickel State and my game prediction. Uh, and be sure to check out AddictedToQuack.com for all the latest news and analysis. For Addicted to Quack, this is Takimoto. Go Ducks!